How to create KDP low content puzzle books and coloring books fast. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creator B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos. So one of the issues about when you start creating KDP books is that lots of the generators like the word search generators or puzzle generators all export out into PNGs or you might have a load of PNG files or JPEG files that you've got from your graphic designer or you've purchased them from Creator Fabrica or Hungry JPEG or any of the um, sites where you can use their images to create your colouring books. But it is quite tedious going in and inserting each time or dragging and dropping each time. So there are quicker ways of doing it. Now, there is a quick way of doing it for PowerPoint, but only on the Windows version and not the Mac version. But good news for the people that use Macs. Keynote is free, so you can use the batch process in Keynote and then export it as a PowerPoint and then edit in PowerPoint if you prefer to do that. Also, there is a way to do it in Google Slides. Keep watching to the end and then you will see how to do it in Google Slides if that's the way you use it. So in PowerPoint, it's done slightly different. You don't need to go and change the size first like you do with Keynote and Google Slides. So all you need to do is you go to Insert, Photo Album, New Photo Album. You go to File Desk. And I suggest that you put your images or your word search or your puzzle generator PNGs on your desktop. And in the previous video that I did about creating word searches, in that video, it shows you how I generated using these images using the paid version of instant puzzle generator. But I also created some free ones using a word search generator on the browser and using Crosswords Express. So all you do is you select the images that you want and you can do it with Control A or Command A to select all of them. You click Insert and it automatically puts them in. And I want all the pictures black and white, even though they are black and white. I'm just making sure. And then all I do is click Create. And then it may take a bit of time to do that. It may take time to process because it's taking some quite big images. So when it's done that, it did a, actually, yep, it's done it. It turns out quite weird and goes all black. But don't worry. All you need to do is you go to design, go to slide size, go to custom slide size, and then change your and 11. Click OK. Click maximum. And then it should fit all your images. Now, you might have to go in like your solutions and just simply drag them to the size that you want them and also move things around. But that is how you can quickly create your book. So that is how you do that in PowerPoint on Windows. I am running it on a on Parallels, so it might be making quite a lot of noise. So we're in Keynote and we need to change the sizes of it. So let me just move this down so you can actually see it. So to change your size, you go to Document and you go to White Screen and you go to Custom Slide. Now, the difference here in Keynote, it uses points and you can't change it to inches or pixels or anything like that. So in KDP, we work in inches because that's what Amazon publishes in. So in order to get it into inches, we need to do a calculation. So I'm going to open up a calculator. And what I do is I actually times everything by 72. So because I'm doing eight and a half, I go eight and a half times 72. And that will give me my width. So that's 612 and the exact same for the height. So I got 11 times that by 72 and that gives me the size of 792. So now I have my exact size I want. I can change. So I've just got rid of that and what I do is a simple drag and drop. So I open the folder that I want. So let's go to Christmas and this was my folder. Again, Command A, 
because I'm on a Mac or Control A if you're managing to run Keynotes on virtual. This time drag and drop, but make sure you drag and drop it to the side. And that is it. It is done. All what we need to do. So we just go in and tidy a few things up, resize things if that's what we wish to do. So that is how you do it in Mac. Now I did promise you, you can do this in Google Slides. Now what I did is I found a tool that you can use and it is called Slides Toolbox. And what it does, it, it creates a little add on to your Google Slides and it allows you to import different images in as new slides, just exactly what we've done. And what you need to do is it's a freemium model. So I don't know what you're paying for, but you don't need to pay just to do this bit. So when you go into Google Slides, you go to the slides and like we did in Keynote, do the, your size first. So you go file, page setup, widescreen, make sure you're in inches, eight and a half by 11. Click apply. Just get rid of that as well. And then where it says add-ons, you get slide toolbox. You click open. And then you can go to import and create slides from images. I'm not going to do all of them because it takes quite a while. You can do it from your drive. And then you just, if you haven't got it on your drive, you just click upload. And then you just drag and drop. So in fact, I'll do them just through. So you click on there, click upload, and it takes a bit of time. So I'm just going to pause the video and then we will come back. It's now uploaded. So now it's busy processing. Again, I will pause the video. Okay. So we've got an error, but that doesn't matter because we can always go in and drag those ones in. So let me just click OK and it should import all of our images in. As you can see, we'll still need to just go in and just quickly resize them so that they fit what we want to do. So I'll show you another example of doing this. So we go file new presentation again, just to prove that this add-on does work. I'm going to add some coloring pages. Now I've got these coloring pages from Creative Fabrica, so you need to change them if you do get them yourselves. Again, file, page setup, make sure that I change it. So I might actually do a six by nine one, but I might actually do bleed. So I'm going to do 6.125 and then I'm going to do 9.25 to account for the bleed. And then I'm going to go to add on slides, open again, working again, import tools from images again, next. And I again have them on my desktop. These ones here. I'm not going to do all of them because as you saw, it, it took quite a while. Drag and drop those eight. Click upload. So it's uploading those a little bit quicker. I'm going to pause again. Okay, that was a lot quicker. And again, we can resize the images to go the whole way through because it's lead. So you could add some text to this background to make it a motivational coloring in cheeks or something like that. So what you do is you go to insert word art. Type the word in that you want. So, gratitude. That's what I like. Gratitude. That will choose peace. So peace. That was moved. And then enter. Enter. So it's come on there. And now we can change what we want. So we can change it to there. And we can have black outline. We've got white, we can change the different border and certainly change the different um, fonts. And I've got that there. Click OK. And that has changed 
our fonts so we could have piece there for it to stand out and that is how you can do some coloring pages quickly using google slides and puzzle pages in my previous video i showed you how to create word searches using both free and paid tools that all exported out as pngs or jpegs or pdfs and this is the quick way of getting them into a program like PowerPoint, Keynote, or Google Slides, where you can edit them and make them unique and make them your own. The card for that will be in the right hand corner. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.